Hey, it's Denise again with another Loomknit project and this time we're going to learn to make a tiny kitty. Let's start with the drawstring cast on. Secure your yarn and then wrap every other peg. Push your working yarn down so that you have space to add the second row. Now wrap the working yarn around the loom nice and loose. Knit off every peg that has two loops. Start knitting your rows and we're going to use the U-Wrap version of the knit stitch. You'll knit 25 rows in total and then cast off. Wrap the working yarn around the loom and then cut that working yarn. Take your hook and you're going to feed that yarn through every loop. Remove the loops from the pegs. It's time to stretch the stitches. I don't know why this is such a stress reliever for me. Pull on the string and we're going to start closing up this end. Turn the project inside out. Don't freak out, it's time to do a little sewing. Sew in a circle. When you're done closing the opening, then cut the excess yarn. Turn your project back around. Add the stuffing and put more on the bottom part. So you're going to push, push it down. And then we're going to add some more to the top and push that so that most of it is actually at the bottom. Start pulling on the string a little bit at a time. So the goal is to remove the curl from the fabric without closing the top. Okay, it's time to sew again.
this side of the project you're gonna sew flat so you're gonna go from side to side and feed the yarn through the loops Sewing the ears flat on the corners is really optional. You could leave it like this. I just like to give it more definition. To create the separation between the head and the body, we're going to tie this string in the back. Thread your needle with some black floss and we'll start working on the eyes. I like using ball head pins to figure out where I want to place the eyes. Once you're determined where you have it, you can pull it out and take your needle and feed it through. And you're basically just going to wrap that little stitch a few times, um, you know, two or three times will be enough to cover uh, the amount of space that you want for your eyes um, and really that depends on how do you want it to look do you want them to look like they're closed and um, they're a bit long or do you want them to look sort of like a, a big dot so it's all about what is the shape that you want in my case I wanted the little eyes to look almost like they were closed and so I'm making mine a bit long and I am wrapping the little stitch uh, about three times.
You're using the same technique for the nose. You're just going to use some white um, yarn and don't wrap it too much more than maybe uh, twice. We're ready to make the tail. So we're going to do the drawstring cast on and we're going to use only five pegs. You're going to knit four rows with this white yarn. Now we're going to chain colors and we're gonna do just a basic knot. So you take one yarn over the other, flip it, and then just tie a basic knot. Nothing too dramatic. Now just keep knitting, and you're gonna knit um, 26 more rows. When you're done knitting your rows, you're gonna take the two loops on the ends and bring them in so that you end up with only three loops um, on your three pegs. And then we're gonna cast off. Now I made a little boo-boo here and I cut my yarn way too short. So don't do that. Make sure you leave yourself enough um, of a tail. No pun intended. Pull the strings on both ends to close up your cast on and then you're going to pull on your stitches to stretch them out. Now we're going to work on attaching that tail. Turn your little guy around and let's cut off that excess yarn on the back and then start uh, to sew the tail from the back to the front. I had to get a little creative with my sewing because, of course, I didn't have enough yarn.
You're done. Yay.